you've been on the fence about whether it will happen yeah, or whether like, it should I, I happen. Mean, well, I'm still kind of like not sure about Colorado personally. You're not sure about Colorado. Yeah, we'll get into the, we'll get okay. into that with this. I, I can't wait to hear that. But okay, so we had Brian Howell on the other day on 365 Sports in the afternoon, and um, he covers he covers the Buffalo for the Buffs for um, the Boulder Daily Camera. And I think Craig asked him a really intriguing question of like, do you see Colorado waiting? for the uh the deal to come or not and i mean this is a guy who we've had him on in the past was adamant like they're not coming and he was like well um i i really could see them getting impatient and making a decision and i think that really kind of caught all of us off guard uh but the bigger thing to this is like the national narrative around it right because for the longest time, like when you discussed Colorado, it was or really the Pac-12 dissolving in general. It was, okay, well, that's San not Diego, happening. I know. Like, that's not happening. We're going to get the money we want. We're fine. We're safe. We can add San Diego State to get more even. And yeah. now now it's, it's more like they can leave. San Diego State will just replace them. It's fine. Okay, and that's, that's one thing that really caught me off guard. So John Wilner had that in his article about, well, th if Colorado goes, they'll just be replaced with San Diego State. And I'm like, hold up, bro. Like, wasn't San Diego State supposed to replace UCLA or USC? Not like, like when fully they, replace, but, but, but like you know what I mean, right? Like, gap. it was supposed to be, I thought it was supposed to be them and SMU and they're going to step in and replace. When the hell did that narrative change? So why yeah. now is San Diego State just supposed to replace Colorado and y'all keep moving? That makes no sense to me. Oh, it's because clearly they're as good as two, UC, uh, two LA programs and Colorado, obviously. Yeah, and no, no shade there to San Diego State, but like you're not replacing three programs. No, but here's another thing too. Like if I'm Colorado, I'm going to play this very patient. And the, the reason I say that is I'm kind of going to like force their hand because San Diego State has to make a decision by the 30th of this month or else their exit fee for the Mountain West is going to double. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to wait and I'm going to see if George Klyavkov makes them a member before I even make a decision. And if not, then... I'm going to flex on them. Yeah. And, and that's just intriguing to me. But I want you to hear this quote from Jason Shear. We had, he covers Arizona. He has been very adamant this whole time about the Pac-12 and just the uncertainty there. And he's caught a lot of flack for it. Uh, but he and him uh, is starting to see that Colorado is more than likely going to bounce. It's just a matter of time. Do you think Colorado is going to pull the trigger? It definitely looks like that. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of smoke, and I know there's been smoke or hints in the past, but this feels real because the guys that usually aren't talking about it as a possibility have started to talk about it a little bit more. I think Rick George, the AD, when he said a few weeks ago that Colorado's going to do what's best for Colorado was kind of the hint, but it, it definitely feels like it's headed in that direction. What are your thoughts? I mean, is it going to happen yet or not? Like, I'm sorry. I just keep defaulting to that. Like, I just just let it happen already, man. Like, I, I want it to be over. My, all right, here's some of my issues with Colorado. Do you know how many double-digit football games they've won since 2001? How many double-digit season, winning seasons they've had yeah. since 01? Uh, two. Two. Hey, is that really, I mean, what, what does that do for you? Okay. Like I don't see the long-term value. I understand right now the whole Dion effect and everything, but I, when I view that Dion's not going to be there very long. I mean, I honestly think it's going to flop personally. I think this is going to be a disaster just kind of going off of his track record uh, for even going to prime Academy and everything that the, by covering them when they were at Trinity Christian and how that offense, and it was just all about his kids and running everything through them. Once Shadur has gone, even if he makes it to Shadur graduating, he's bouncing. I'm sorry. He's not staying put. And then I, who's to say that even works if he does have success and um, an SEC program or an ACC program or something needs to, to uh, find a coach, they're definitely going to call him. I, this is He's leveraging Colorado for something bigger, or he's just using this and will get out and go to the media. So I don't necessarily know what the long-term value is with Colorado. I think that's a little harsh on Dion. And I remember we got into this a bit last week. I definitely think that there's a window there for Colorado to use Dion to get to a point where they can hire 
a better, more stable coach who can consistently deliver bowl games. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but like, I I don't think Dion will fail to make a bowl game at Colorado this year. Not or just this in general, year, just before he leaves. I would hope not, but I just I don't I. I mean, I dude, I don't know, dude. I mean, look, all it takes is six wins. And whether they're in whatever the pack is and continues to be, or they move over and buy like year three for Dion, they're in the Big 12. I think he's making a bowl game. I think you can only have so much talent and miss a bowl game. AM's pressing the boundaries of that, but it's, but yeah, I think that. I think Colorado would have been stupid to plan to hire Dion and think he's going to be around long term. I think there is some miracle scenario where stuff goes so well for Dion at Colorado that uh, he sticks around because he's just winning at the top level there. I think it's a miracle if that happens. So I I do believe that the Colorado uh, athletic department planned around Dion leaving and probably leaving rather quickly. And they are fully aware that they just need to use him to get to a place where their program can bring in a better coach afterwards. Or Wait. maybe not a better coach, but a better coach than they had. Someone like Mel Tucker, and then won't they won't lose Mel Tucker. That's cool. I think, like, I was thinking about this last night. Like, if I, and I know it's, I mean, I guess they're kind of, San Diego State's kind of been in the mix. But I think I would rather have San Diego State than Colorado if I was the Big 12. No. Nah. You don't think so? I think, dude, their basketball program, given that, I think their football program could beat Colorado. I, I mean, they're like 7-2 and two against the pack in the past two or three years. I would, I think That's San Diego short-term. State, I know, but I, what's Colorado going to do long-term? What have they ever the really done? The alumni base, the size of the university, the Denver market, the people and the money those people have. Yeah, but I don't I, – I think there's just no, – I don't think they're – the history, you got one natty. I know San Diego State's going to have any. I'm not talking about the history of Colorado. I'm talking about the history of Colorado in the Big 12. Yeah, the that's fair. The fact that they will I mean, reignite a, fan part, a part of the fan base that likes being around the Big 12, that remembers being around the Big 12, that treasures a history, that will buy into it. Do you think that that's the case, though? Because I think there's a split in the fan base. I think maybe like your older fans would like that, but I think the the probably like your 35 and younger would rather stay in the pack. Yeah, how many how many 10 win seasons have they had in the pack? They don't remember success. They don't remember These success. Younger fans period. Don't no, that that my point is so either you're going to have the people who've been around longer who have more money cuz they're older and now feel more happy to spend it because they're back where they remember. Yeah, but that's a short-term goal too, right? Cuz what if they all die off? <laughs> then you relate you're relying on the younger people who have no reason <laughs> to feel like they really care about the Pac-12 cuz they haven't won shit there. I know. I just feel like I would rather. It doesn't matter. The pack's going to dissolve eventually, and we'll see what happens. But here's another thing with Colorado: like the the Big Twelve, they want Colorado get, over San Diego State every day of the week. Well, here's just the, for the alumni base size. Okay, that might be fair, but the ultimate goal, right, is to get into that West Coast window. Colorado, I mean, it's on the fringe. There's still a mountain time zone. You're still not fully getting out west, like your ultimate goal is. We say it's the ultimate goal. People say it's the ultimate goal. Do you need to get that one extra hour over? Like, who are you really taking at that point? If you're not getting an Oregon or a Washington, like, all the best, all the best candidates seem to be in that mountain time zone. Do you really want to stretch your criteria of what's additive, what's dilutive, just to get another hour? Like, they can kick off whenever they want to kick off in the mountain time zone. And we can just say it's a Pacific Coast game. Yeah. Like. It's going to be a tree game. You, I just. You, I, but you get know what I'm saying. There, no, right? I get it. My thing, too, is like, do you. And I've said this la- like last week, but I, I feel like right now until they can consistently, if they can consistently win, like even bringing them over is not necessarily going to give you that window. Right. Like if you look right now, I think. Obviously, they're going to get the the big noon kickoffs uh, against Nebraska and uh, the I can't remember the other team, but they get two of those. I think that's kind of like a limited short term thing because you're probably going to get beat there, and then once um, that goes away, like in your what you have been, does that really is that a draw for that window? I feel like you're going to see Colorado if they came to the Big Twelve. I feel like more often than not, you would find them on ESPN Plus. 
I think, again, first two years, no. I think just the renewal of matchups in in different locations will keep them off of ESPN Plus for the majority of their games, especially with, since they'll have Dion. After that, yeah, maybe. We'll see. I don't know who, like, it's easy to say, well, yeah, I know, like, Texas and Oklahoma are going to control the Big 12, so Colorado's not going to win. They're not going to contend. Mm. Who, right. Like, we don't know who the power programs will be. No, I don't, don't. I don't think it's fair to say that Colorado is any less likely than Iowa State. Mm. Any less likely than Cincinnati. That's, that's, all right, that's a better comparison. But do you see what I'm saying here? Is like, as much as they don't inspire confidence right now, I cannot argue with that. <laughs> it is such a wide open opportunity for anyone in the Big Twelve at this juncture that if they join for 2025, mm. just one year later than the other four new members, like I don't see them being behind the eight ball. I don't. I don't see them being damned to be on ESPN Plus once Dion leaves. Like, there is no Kansas right now, and I don't view Colorado as a Kansas. I kind of do. I kind of do. I'll play devil's advocate. I do view Colorado as like a Kansas at this point. Really? I do, man. I'm just – I'm not real high on them. They've never really been – like, they've never really garnered, like, garnered any attention other than the early 90s. Um, I'm just not a big fan of it, dude. Like, I, I just – to me, you're bringing in a mediocre program – to do what? Like, just to get a time zone? Like, cool. But the, what the hell are they going to do for you okay, at the so end of the day? Okay, so who do you add? If you're the Big 12, who do you add? 